had a bunch of questions from people asking me about private labels and how things have changed since the incentivized reviews removal from the Amazon platform has happened. Um, basically, Amazon don't want you to offer products for a discount in exchange for reviews anymore. It inflates the reviews, kind of makes a lot of reviews too good to be true because customers haven't paid the full price for the product, so they'll write pretty much anything, right? They're not bothered about what the, the product is worth, so they write their review based on the price they got it for. It's kind of a, a good move on there, on Amazon's part, in my opinion. But a lot of people think that this is the end of the world. Like, how am I going to still get reviews for my private label products, even though I can't get incentivized reviews? Well, look, in the past, the main thing that I recommended you focus on with private labels was getting sales and getting reviews, right? Getting the products to sell, um, getting the reviews for the products, and then the reviews would make more sales, and the sales would encourage you to get more reviews. I think you should shift now, instead of focusing on sales and reviews, to just getting sales. And then off the back of that, getting reviews, okay? So your priority should be getting sales. Now, there's a load of things you can do with private labels to make sure this happens, right? You definitely um, want to do a few things before you import or choose your product to make sure that you will get sales. Um, and this is obviously a, a much more complicated topic. But the main thing is to make sure your product's adding a load of value to the marketplace. So it's something new, something that the marketplace hasn't seen yet, something that customers are asking for. They're annoyed about in reviews of other products or you're adding more value somehow um, or you're just adding something different. As long as your product can stick out, customers will actually have a reason to buy it and therefore you'll be able to get sales. Also, you want to make sure that the type of product you're selling has enough volume so the other products that are similar um, are selling enough and but there's not too much competition okay these are kind of the main principles of choosing a private label product so if you've done those things um, and you found a product that's got great sales volume not too much competition you can add extra value with it getting sales shouldn't be too much of a problem right so we can just focus on that so the way you encourage your product to sell is with things like sponsored ads on Amazon. They've got their own sponsored ads platform. Um, you can still do promotions. So there's loads of services out there like AMZ Tracker. I think it's GetBSR, Zonblast, stuff like that, where you can just offer promotions and discounts for your products. Um, and that will get you sales. And then what you do is email the customers who have bought your product for full price and ask them for reviews. Um, simple as that. Focus on launching good products, getting sales, and then messaging the customers who did buy to um, leave you a review. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing a promotion and then asking the customers who bought the products for half price to leave reviews. Um, it's okay if they do, but Amazon might think that you're trying to trick their system and sidestep the new incentivized reviews rule. So I wouldn't necessarily do that. Um, AMZ Tracker have a feature where they run a promotion and then they email customers outside of the Amazon platform for reviews. I think that's okay. I think that's safe. Um, but I wouldn't do it through the Amazon platform because it could look a bit shady. So that's how you do it. Now, a couple of uh, people, after I've told them this advice, have said, well, are my products really going to sell without reviews from day one? I think the answer is yes. Um, every decent private label product that I've launched I've had sales go through on the listing without there being any reviews. Um, I think that's a sign of whether you've got a really good product, actually. Um, it could even be maybe once you've imported a test batch of 50 or 100 products, can you get sales without reviews? That could be maybe a benchmark to see whether your product is going to be successful. So you don't need to worry. Reviews are very important, but you can focus on sales and then get reviews from the sales. I hope that helped. Uh, I've had loads of people answer, ask me this. If you've got any more questions or anything, do comment below um, and I'll try and make a video to help you out. Take care and keep believing.